Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will be adding a newer technology eSATA extender cable to an early 2009 Mac Pro. We have already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the Mac Pro, and have placed it on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. To install the extender, we will need to open the side access door. To do this, lift the latch located on the rear of the Mac Pro until it locks in the open position. You may then tilt the door forward slightly and remove it. The extender cable slides into an empty PCIe slot, which are located in this area. First, we must remove the slot retainer by unscrewing these two knobs and lifting it out. Next, remove the rear cover for the slot you wish to use. It should pop right out. In this instance, we're using the extra slot that would normally be taken up by a high-end video card. But the extender can go in any of the unused spaces. As there is only one available SATA connector on the 2009 Mac Pro, we have removed one of the eSATA ports from the extender. This can be done with an ordinary Phillips screwdriver. Feed the SATA cable of the extender under the retaining bar. Then, install the extender plate into the PCI slot. Replace the card retainer bar so that the extender's plate won't come loose during installation. In order to run the SATA cable properly, we will need to temporarily remove the fan. To make a little more room, first remove the frontmost hard drive. Next, remove the two screws on the right side of the fan. Once they are removed, pull the fan slightly forward, then lift it up and out. Near the front part of the logic board, you will see two connectors marked A and B. Connector A goes to the optical drive, so we must use connector B. Remove the cable currently attached to reveal the connector itself. Attach the cable from the extender to the connector you just revealed. Simply plug it in and position the cable so that it lays flat. Keeping the SATA cable flat against the motherboard, put the fan back into place by lining the two bottom tabs up at the holes in the chassis. Then, push gently forward. It should push right into place. Secure the fan into place with the two screws. You can then replace the hard drive. All that is left to do is to replace the outer door and secure the latch. 